and uh, and here we go. So if you read carefully, right, you're purchasing a vehicle and there's a down payment, right, and the rest is financed. So you need to use the loan, uh, the formula for payment of a loan. And I actually determined that my loan is after the down payment, right, happened. This is how much you end up borrowing. You got to go get this table rate. Make sure it's not interest rate on your formula, right? Table rate, which is at the bottom. So you just match 4.5% over five years. It's divided by a thousand and there you get your monthly payment. So you get a mark for that. That, that payment obviously stays the same. So we put it in for both months there. And this is where you have to take the unpaid balance at the very beginning. It's 10,750, right? You multiply it by the interest rate, the 4.5% divided by 100, all of that divided by 12 to get this. That would be a one mark. If it's completely blank, then that's one mark there. You take that interest, take it off of the payment to get your principal. So now you've broken down the payment into two pieces. The principal brings down the unpaid balance and then you repeat the process. You take this unpaid balance with you to the second line and the rest stays the same, right? 4.5% divided by 100, all of that divided by 12, 39.71. Take that away from the payment to get your principal portion and that in turn brings down your unpaid balance. So this is how much you owe after two months, right? Technically. And sometimes I ask you some questions based on that. So how much interest did Manmi pay on the first month? You actually have a formula for interest paid on the first month as lowercase i, but we already know what that is. So you just bring that over here. How much interest will Manmeet have to pay over the five years? So this is total interest, right? This is over the entire you know, loan, that's total interest. So the way we do that, you have a formula for this, payment times 12 times number of years. In this case, it's five years. So five times 12 is 60. So you're essentially making 60 payments of this minus the loan. So you end up paying them this much, take away the loan. And so you end up paying 13, hundred dollars and then some for interest and here's the next part here um, how could man need reduce the total interest paid on the loan explain so you can say I think I would like a little bit more but I just gave you like shorten the term so instead of five years go with four years right or three years or whatever shorten the term Increase your down payment, right? If you increase your down payment, you're essentially borrowing less money, causing you to pay less interest. You can make additional payments. There's lots of options there. You can shop for a lower interest rate because that's not a restriction. Sometimes I say, other than going for a lower interest rate, what else can you, can you do to reduce the interest paid? So that's nine marks technically. I don't know if you for yourselves just want to say I scored this much on this page. Um, backside. Backside. Let's let's talk about this one. Please don't leave it blank. And I, I basically did this. I first do this. It's like, give me some reasons why I should buy new. You go to your study sheet and you're like, advantages of buying new. You can talk about the fact that you can customize it, that the car is safer that it's more fuel efficient, you name it, right? It, it's, it's under warranty, less, right? Lower maintenance costs, stuff like that. And then you try to explain based on what we've talked about in class, right? And, and you're able to customize the car, right? To your liking, safer, why is it safer? New vehicles have the late, latest safety features. Fuel efficient, why is it more fuel efficient? Because the, the new cars have to meet the latest safety or fuel em emission standards or have to meet the latest standards, I'm fine with that. Warranty, 
that means that I will have to pay less for maintenance, stuff like that, you know, like explain yourselves a little bit. Sometimes the province just asks you to state, sometimes they want you to explain why you're saying that first part, okay? And it doesn't have to be exactly like I did it, but then you have a, a model there. <clears throat> Next, Ellen um, wants to buy a Toyota. It's an import vehicle, depreciated at 15% per year. The current value is 15,000. Calculate the total depreciation over two years. So what you have to do there is one year at a time, right? 15,000 times 15%, 15 you lost that much after the first year. So obviously if you lost it, you gotta subtract it and then your second year, you repeat the 15%, you lose slightly less. That would give you half a mark for this, half a mark for that, and then a full mark for actually combining these amounts to say, hey, this is how much was lost, okay? And then the B, what is the depreciated value of the vehicle at the end of two years? You can also say, what's the residual value? I'm gonna say that residual value, just in case, right? It's the same depreciated value, residual value, same thing. So that's what it would be. And so I would honor whatever you got up here. If you made a mistake up here, if I see you're subtracting the original price minus what was lost, that's what should go here. Uh, next, fuel economy. Notice that, it, again, it didn't ask you to calculate the fuel economy, but it could. If it asks you to cal calculate the fuel economy, you have a formula for that. But in this case, the fuel economy is given. That's what I start my proportion with. It's like, okay, it's 11.7 liters for every 100 kilometers. Therefore, right, so that must be equal to the distance that's given to you. Right? You put that in the basement and then you find out the, the number of liters. So you just go cross, multiply, and divide, show that step. So it's 286.65 liters for that. Probably it should be more than one mark, but hey, we're just gonna go with it today. And then we just take those liters and multiply it by the price, and there we have it. That is your overall cost here. And it, obviously, if you messed up on your liters, then, oops, did I say messed up? Anyways, if you made a mistake, okay, um, then that's that would be different, but you would still get the mark for calculating the cost. That's the beauty, right? You might make a mistake here, continue your work, show your work. The more work you show, the, the more likely you are to still score partial marks. If it's just like a jump or rule, like, some work here and then boom, final answer, and I have no idea what happened. I'm not confident that you know what needs to be done. You know what I mean? So show me work. All right, you keep this on the house. Grab your booklets real quick. I thought I would, uh, because it's a bigger unit, lots of formulas, go right to the front cover of this magazine, of this booklet, right? front cover um, I, I just took the liberty to just tell you hey these if you look at this front cover you should have all of these sections represented somehow on your study sheet so there should be a buying new right so new vehicle that's on page one uh, depreciation or residual value it's also very close to that I didn't quite look up but that that one doesn't have a formula that's what I'm trying to say so go to the very beginning. If you have some formulas for a used vehicle, if you need to review that, that's on page 15 of your booklet. There, uh, for leasing, there, there's something on page 46 of the booklet there. So make sure you go there and look up the formulas, double check, fine tune them, okay? If you need some insurance, Oh, sorry, financing first, sorry, financing, that's on page 27. And specifically amortization tables starts on page 37. 
can I just say this because some of you had a hard time with it could be it breaks down into partial and blank right we did both tables like it could be a partially filled in which is actually easier that was on the quiz well some of you didn't think so because you wanted you wanted it blank because this is how I do it right but technically partially filled in is easier because you're just adding and subtracting cells kind of try to think like what would you have done if you had completed the whole thing and somebody maybe your younger sibling came and erased some stuff just to play a prank on you and you're like oh I don't want to redo the whole thing oh wait a minute I have some information here I can probably just add and subtract right um, insuring is on page 76 operating costs very little there's just a little bit of operating costs on page 68 insuring is on 76 fuel economy which I don't have on this is on page 65 we did not talk about hybrid or electric vehicles I apologize the province doesn't require it they need to update their curriculum uh, but I thought if I have time I might talk about it but I didn't we'll see if I can sneak it in later this year um, and last but not least ready for this I gave you I may have given some of you this already but there's actually some review materials that you can take advantage of right and I just write them down at the bottom here there are two kind of sectioned off reviews one is 86 to 90 it actually says test review it actually does say that and the other one is 58 to 60 that one I still need to find the key and post it I did post the key to the first one that's yesterday it says test review key um, this one I have to find I have the paper copy here but I need to scan it and then and then upload it right you know what guys that's all I have today I would say you do whatever you need to do to prepare yourself for tomorrow I would say flip through the booklet if all else just flip through the booklet it's like some of, the, some of the things here and there that I highlighted maybe look at some examples you name it all right uh, this might be some information overload but I, I kind of took the time and if you look up on the screen here under today under test review there are the two reviews that I talked about that are just in general and then every section in the in the booklet had some worksheets after the lesson and so if you want to see the keys like if you're trying some random questions I posted all of them right here so if you want to do some fuel economy leasing used new amortization tables financing right you just go there open it up and then hopefully cross your fingers it will right so then the whole thing is right there so just so you know I'm not saying you have to do them all it's a lot but you know let's say it's exam review time you come back here it's like oh yeah they're all right here